the auxiliary of the assembly man movement. Uh, it, it's such a beautiful tool that the Lord has placed in the church. And you don't have to be uh, a, a, a somebody who's comfortable being a leader. You don't, you don't have to have any particular special skills to be an active participant in the assembly band movement. You just have to be a caring individual <laughs> and you are a vital part of what the ABM is and the spirit of the ABM yes. to minister and care one for another. Uh, I couldn't have uh, provided the breakfast for the pastors and their companions uh, this morning without um, some ABM volunteers. And so I want to thank Sister Peggy and Sister Leslie and Sister Heather who got up early with me this morning to be here and help provide uh, the breakfast that we did. It, it's an honor to be able to serve our pastors in the state of Tennessee. We're blessed with some um, anointed shepherds, and I thank the Lord. I am a product of, of shepherds in the state of Tennessee. I, I didn't come up under anybody else except for Tennessee shepherds, and Brother Campbell, thank you for um, being a living example of what a true shepherd is and what the ABM is all about. And Brother Yoey, thank you for um, being the kind of shepherd that loves people. And that's what the assembly band movement is all about, is loving people. Um, last year, I gave out ABM fasting jars and um, we were able to turn that in to the state treasurer at the state convention or shortly thereafter. And those funds uh, are just available. I believe they put it in share, what, what was the fund called? Is it the uh, Army, of Army of Compassion? So um, we raised $527. If you think about, now I said $5 a meal, but I was quickly uh, told thereafter that not everybody eats out as often as I do, and that most meals are maybe like a dollar a meal. And so I'm like, well, you know, let's just, whatever you normally spend, if it's a dollar or if it's $5, whatever, but let's just say on average, if you cook and not go out as often as I do, it was a dollar a meal. That's 527 meals that were fasted for souls last year. And I just want to thank each and every one of you that uh, sacrificed and pushed the plate away to get a hold of God on behalf of souls. And I believe with all of my heart, if we will continue to pray and fast, that we will see a great revival break forth in the church of God. And I believe also that every auxiliary works better when the ABM is at its best. Because when we fast and pray and love each other, it births great VLB leaders, great CPMA leaders, great WMB leaders, great Sunday school teachers. And so we want to do our part all year and pray and fast and see what the Lord uh, will do. Our theme this year is in Ephesians 4, chapter, thir uh, chapter 4, verse 13. And it's the first four letters of this verse that's like in the middle of the chapter. And it says, till we all come. And um, I was, I've been praying and asking the Lord how to direct me in the theme till we all come. And um, of all things, I was yard selling and I found my inspiration at somebody's junk sale. <laughs> and uh, you'll be seeing this at the district conventions. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> and uh, when I come and visit your local <laughs> church, I'm going to dive into this more deeply. But 
when I look at Sister Cox's uh, inspiration till we all come and then I think of mine, I'm like, they're not going to know what I'm thinking or talking about or anything like that. So this is just to kind of whet your appetite and get you ready for a whole year of till we all come. Uh, and, and truly, I will get more deep into it when I come visit the local churches. But uh, I want you to think about how many traffic lights that you see in a day. Now, I, I have to drive 45 minutes one way to work, so I see a lot of traffic lights in one day. Your commute may just be five minutes down the road and you may hit one. But me personally, I see a lot of traffic lights. And so, um, Brother Anders, would you volunteer to help me for just a minute to kind of whet everybody's appetite with this thing that I'm going with till we all come. So, Brother Anders, uh, what is your favorite car? If you could have any car on the face of the earth, what would you pick? Four Chevrolet and pile up super sport. Okay, well, I was thinking more like a doodlebug or something for me this morning. So stand up, Brother Anders. You're going to be a little doodlebug for us. <laughs> so when the light is red, what does it mean? When the light is yellow, what does it mean? It means punch it and get through. No. It means caution, <laughs> slow down. And when the light is green, what is it telling you? Okay. So come be my car. And this is chapter four, the whole verse. This is what we're going to be focusing on this year in the ABM, the whole verse. When I say go, go. When I say caution, slow down. When I say stop, stop. This is Ephesians chapter four. You ready? <laughs> yes. Go to speed limit. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Stop. You can't stop, stop, but that's the way it is in chapter four. Go. Stop. Caution. Caution. Stop. Stop. Go. Caution. Stop. Stop. Go. Don't laugh at me, but y'all do that life too. <laughs> so, uh, in the ABM, we have the Holy Ghost as our traffic signal. Helping us to stop what we need to stop doing. Helping us to be cautious when we're dealing with precious souls. And boy, when that anointing hits to minister, go, 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 and then go some more. So um, as I come up around to the local churches, we're going to be digging into this theme this year till we all come. Boy, do we have a destination and we have a wonderful traffic uh, controller, the Holy Ghost. And if I could get the...